Hello and welcome to Chess Please. Today we are going to play a game of chess. Let's jump in. So we're going to play a slightly longer format today because we have dropped 150 ELO points in the last week. And often what I say, get back to basics, play a slower game, get back to enjoying the game rather than chasing the rating points. But yeah, got fully tilted, reached 9, 4, 1949, which is our highest rating ever and immediately plummeted 150 rating points so i always say look chess isn't about the rating it's about having a good time but losing is no fun either so let's see if we can't get back to winning ways we're playing a sicilian sort of grand prix not quite attack um this gets into pretty murky territory early on you can get quite a crowded position for black but ultimately i think it's fine Put a little pin. Let's put a pin in that one. I'd love to see a little move like this. That's fine. They don't blunder their bishop. Can't just hope for blunders. I've learned that over my last uh, 10 game losing streak. Whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, my opponent is 1834. We are 1807. It's a lot lower than it was. But... That's just how chess goes sometimes. That is just how chess goes sometimes. Uh, I suppose we'll open up another avenue for our bishop. Our knight could go there. Our queen gets opened up. It's a, it's a whole. It's a whole good time. All right. Okay. Now, now, what is the order of the day? I mean, if you're looking at bishop development, don't really want a fianchetto. We could get the knight out first to hit this square. Actually, that that's a very nice square. Let's get let's get in there. This pawn sort of makes it a little fortress. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's still still kind of fortressy. Uh, they definitely see the perils of it, though. They develop their knight. We're gonna jump in here. That's fine. I'd rather have three connected pieces. Queen out here is annoying. Kind of want to get castled pretty soon. Dropping back there looks pretty claustrophobic. So I think... I mean, if we take... The queen or the rook takes... Pawn takes would be so dangerous so I don't feel when our choices really are move or take actually oh no hang on yeah no it is move or take What sort of future does this knight have, I wonder, is, is another question I'd have for you. Dropping the bishop back, I don't think works, because then you get bang, and we go here, and then bang, you're trapped. So dropping the bishop back there is not going to work. Dropping the bishop back here sort of falls to the same prat falls. So I think take is just a neat solution there. Kind of why we had that pin going. Bringing the rook forward, always risky, but... I suppose it's not so bad in this situation. Uh, let's finish our development with the bishop out here. Sort of just a flexible, like maybe could see its way over to that side of the board. That we understand. There's a threat on this pawn. Which I think is relatively easy answered by queen here. Kind of wanted to put the queen over this side of the board. The knight I'm not too flustered by. There's also a nice little uh, discovery there. Which we love a discovery. We love a discovery. The discovery channel they called me back in college. oodles of time left on the clock this tends to happen when you play the 15 
minute games with the 10 second increment especially after the first time in a while where I'm used to playing 10 minute games with no increment and time is much more of a factor in those games it's kind of like quasi bullet not quasi bullet quasi blitz it's like the lowest version of rapid that you can play time wise so I think that's one thing we're just looking to remedy the rot stop the rot of I think goofball chess that's my main my main uh, qualm with how we've been doing over the last week or so is we haven't been getting bested in a in a good game we've been throwing away material scrambling back trying to make a fight of it but to no avail so so that's where we're at Now, if we're looking at plans, this is quite a weak pawn. This piece is pretty good, and if they ever trade off, that's also fine by me. We do have two ready-made files for our rooks. So these could be some operations we look at in the future. That doesn't scare me particularly. They could heap a little more pressure on there, but it's defended twice. I think we're all good. I think it's just a, a, a time for a gradual improving move. Interesting game. Already loving the return back to slower chess. It's... You know, whether or not we win this one, we desperately want to win it, by the way. But just having the extra time to compose yourself and not worry that you're you're going to lose because you've got three minutes, your opponent has nine minutes, so you make a dumb, quick decision, which is tends to be the way of it. couple of options here we could push here oh, again don't want to don't let us click that don't don't you double click there we could push here to stop this sort of action which is interesting don't see a huge drawback from that other than actually night here now here is annoying full stop Actually, yeah, that's we probably want to prevent that, don't we? I feel like we can continue with our plan because this if knight does come here that still looks fine we've got two defenders also pretty sneakily I have a great little route into the the heart of white's position now the king isn't there but i mean after this this looks a little hinky looks a little might be trepidatious if i were they were i they were i them in such a case as this Push here would probably be good for them. Just threatens to destabilize the entire region. What this doubling does nicely is a lot of pressure on this should the bishop ever move I 
Now we talked about destabilizing the region. What can we do to do the same? Thought about this, no good. Very interesting. The night is secure. This is an interesting move. I don't know why. I'm just sort of obsessed with getting in. Getting in amongst Black's business. And that seems like a fun way to do it. It also threatens to just take the knight immediately, which I like as well. They have no light square bishop. So I think for now, this is a safe move. Because we could take, 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 threaten the rook, open up this file. That seems like worthy enough to cash in. This pawn would fall, but we would be, we're, we're going streaking through the center and the, the queen side of the board. Bring your green hat, we are going streaking. So I like that. And then again, any move of this bishop, we just take in here and then there's bang, 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 three pieces, very tentatively clung together. Very hard to defend all three of those at once. There might be a way to do it. Yeah, taking is probably the best way to do that. And now, I think we, I think streaking still could be the could be the move. Now, pushing here is probably flatters to deceive because they get to take here and then we take here. We're still going streaking, still going streaking, but it doesn't, it's not the, doesn't have the juge I'm looking for. Um, so let's see if we can find anything a little more challenging. Hmm. Now again, we do always kind of have to be concerned, but concern's a strong word. This bishop probably could be doing more. The rook could be doing more. And I think in the interest of just waiting it out, we're gonna go like this to slowly double our rooks. Well, it's actually as fast as you can double rooks. Two moves, but it feels very slow. It feels like a quiet move. Okay, they haven't played the Dane Rivers. They're going for an attack on the king side. This feels very tasty to me. I don't know why, it just feels like something they would not like. Hard to hard to jimmy that bishop out. Bishop doing a lot more work than it would be elsewhere, erstwise. Yeah, that just seems like a a thorn in the paw of our opponent. Thorn in the side is the phrase. Thorn in the paw from a different parable. Again, as soon as this happens, I I do like our position in terms of king safety, in terms of rook activity, which is leading me to think maybe a queen trade wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think we could convert 
we're not up any material or anything but i think we could convert that extra mobility of our pieces extra coordination and general safety although what's the plan after that andy it'll take him a while to get there but i feel like there should be a plan because the bishop becomes very hemmed in Is the plan just be faster on the other side? Could be. Could be. Now, again. This moves. We don't want to just jump and take. Let's add a bit of timber to the situation. And nothing wrong with this. Again, it sort of threatens to take back. See, now I don't mind closing up if that happens. Just keep that queen out of there. Get a pawn theoretically close to promoting. I don't know if it's going to be the one that promotes, but... We stack the deck. Okay. Don't mind that at all. Does let them develop their bishop a little. But we know what happens when they develop their bishop. Woof, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. So safe squares for our queen are here, here, I mean, we trade off there. Here's interesting. It's not that interesting. Yeah, here you get something like this. We could do this. Seems pretty confrontational. Don't hate it. Bishop here, we just take the rook. Queen here, takes. Rook there. Rook here. Could be a little dubious, but... Opening up our rook is fine by me. Particularly with the bishop here. Then rook there becomes super threatening. Let's see how it all unfolds. They've got a lot of moves to make between now and then. Threaten the bishop now. This was okay. It stopped the rook. It frees up the bishop to do a little more of that. A little more of that action. But. That is fine. Oh, it's not that fine. Uh, it's kind of fine. Uh, take here. It's going to be all gravy. Still threatening the bishop. Threatening to get Alakine's gun here. Three heavy pieces on the one file. I don't know if Alakine's gun is like a specific order. 
but generally I would take it as queen rook rook on one file and it's a very potent elixir that bishop staring is nothing let's just improve our moves nothing is under any imminent threat hopefully they make the mistake of trying to do this noise and we can just take here with check very hard for them to attack a gun such as this Queens in opposition, don't mind it, do not mind it, because of the absolute heavies we have waiting to jump into the fight for us. This bishop remains sort of a non-entity at the moment, but its proximity to the king is just going to have to do for now. It's just going to have to be it. Yeah, I think at this stage, taking, you take, we just plonk ourselves here, even if they double here. Eh, that's actually not great. Actually, they can't, because of our much maligned bishop we just mentioned. So this, we are, just visually, we're in good shape. Look at this beauty as well. Look at that. That's a fortress. They looped. If you were, if you were, if you could have everything, you might create a little luft, but there's just been no time. And it's not the time right now. But yeah, this is always daunting. Ideally, we might have a rook at the, uh, at the point of that spear. Um, but in this case... That's not bad. Good con they've a lot of control over that square. Now, I'm very tempted to do this. For a number of reasons. Queen, take, take. This rook does get an open file, but it's sneakily defended. And then we can do, we can lodge in here. Let's try it. They can also take this. No, they can't. No, they can't, Andrew. Come on. Try, try. It does feel a little iffy, but it could work. Would just work. Yeah, not ideal maybe to create the two open files. Maybe just a queen retreating move might have been better. I think famous last words. Putting a lot of our pieces on defended squares, very well coordinated squares does make it a little harder to play for white because they I feel like there's just a little less coordination between their pieces maybe not so much anymore but that's the that's the vibe I've gotten they also don't seem super open to trading queens I think we take this we take this opportunity to 
invade. I think even if they take the queen now, we can take this with check. Is that right? Have that pawn. Have it, mate. Anywhere they move the rook. Very tempted to just take it. And if they take, we take back with check. The blocks aren't great. So the king comes back here. And then we then we figure it out. They will end up with two passed pawns, so we wanna wanna close the lock here. I think you can hear my washing machine in the background. Oh, you certainly can. It's very loud. Apologies. I had to wash my towels. That is, that is, that is loud, isn't it? I might just cut this bit out if uh, there's no, no, nothing too dramatic happens. I might, I might not. Now that's interesting. And I'll tell you why. Because this I don't know I don't know what they what they do after that, because that's check. So we can say it till I'm blue in the teeth. It's a threatening mate if they just move the king. So I think there's I think there's a lot to be said for this. This queen is also defending this rook, so I would be a little skeptical. Gotta watch our back rank, of course. They res they that, 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 they resigned. <laughs> That's how not used to winning I am. Completely tongue tied. Uh, at the end of that, uh, great to get a win under the belt. Great to get a win. We are up to eighteen sixteen. The dizzying heights of the nineteen hundreds seem a, but a fever dream at this stage. But we will get back on the horse. We had a great time playing chess, and isn't isn't that all that matters? If you had a great time, feel free to subscribe and stick around for more chess content. And if not, thanks for stopping by and enjoy your chess. All the best.